Tonight we take a moment to remember one of our own. If you're a longtime viewer of WGN, you will remember the name Jack Taylor. His career spans 70 years, including more than two decades at WGN TV. He passed away this weekend from heart failure. He was 94 years old. Good morning, I'm Jack Taylor for WGN News. That familiar baritone voice gave us the news in the late and early morning hours. Jack Taylor was on the night beat from 1979 to 1984, but his presence in Chicago goes back even further. Taylor began his news career in Chicago in 1950, first on the radio, then on to television. He was the face of WGN News in the decade of the 70s, along with Len O'Connor, Harry Volkman, and Jack Brickhouse. He spent 25 years at WGN, and that included introducing us to a young, up-and-coming weatherman. Tom Skilling joins WGN, becomes a member of the News 9 team. A son of a dirt farmer, Taylor rose from extreme poverty in the Dust Bowl era to join the Army at 17. By telephone, his daughter Sherry told us his voice caught the attention of a military superior. An officer walked by and said, hey kid, hey kid, who are you? And he said, I'm a private in the Jeep pool. And he said, we need an announcer at Fort Knox. And that's how he got started. Taylor remained a part of Chicago media well into the 90s and beyond. At the age of 92, he actually finished his career giving a short commentary on WDCB-FM's Midwest Ballroom at the College of DuPage. This family photo was taken of Taylor last Christmas, surrounded by some of his 16 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. He will be remembered for his love of family, as well as his passion for news and for Chicago. He'd say, a beautiful day in Chicago makes Chicago the most beautiful place on earth. So he really loved his city and he loved his job and, and he had a full, uh, rich life. In fact, one of his daughters, Amy Taylor, followed in his footsteps and worked in radio in Milwaukee. The wake for Jack Taylor will be held Friday, February 10th at the Kirsten Funeral Home in Mundelein. His funeral is set for the following day at Community Protestant Church at 11 a.m.